Hi everybody, my name is uh, João Lourenço and uh, this is a new tutorial about um, particles dispersion. Um, first and everything, I must say that uh, I'm from Portugal and my English is not very good. I will try to do my best. Um, I already saw a tut uh, tutorial like this on YouTube, but uh, it didn't have sound and uh, we couldn't see very well what the guy was doing so uh, I decided to make a new tutorial with sound and uh, I, I hope uh, it's gonna be easy to people understood by now I wanna show you the final result cause I want you to see how it's gonna be at the end so I'm gonna press, press play and uh, it's amazing it's a uh, excellent effect you can see the teapot disappears in particles really cool I press stop and uh, let's go back to 3d max and work okay what first comes at scene is the the wind force to create it go to the create uh, panel select the space warps use forces and then wind let's create the wind in uh, the front view using the front view now let's rotate it Ha as you can see like this pointing to the teapot as you can see the top view now let's move a little bit back okay right now really cool uh, let's change the the strength the decay the turbulence the frequency and the scale all of them to that two that two for all of them I don't I don't want it very strong because if the strand is like one, all the particles, you know, fly out. Let's put uh, the particles slowly, moving slowly. Okay. Uh, after this, let's um, draw our drag. So go to the um, create panel, space worms, and uh, select drag. Draw them in a uh, perspective view. And. Uh, that here in x axis, y axis, and z axis, let's put the x axis to 2 and y um, axis and z axis both for 5. 5, 5. Cool. Okay, now it's time for build uh, the brain of, of uh, all this operation. Let's uh, build the, the PF source. Uh, let's go uh, to the geometry tab. Instead of standard pr primitives, let's choose particle systems and now select PF source. You can draw them anywhere. Uh, the size doesn't matter. And uh, down here in a uh, quantity multiplayer, in the viewport, let's uh, change to 1. Uh, normal is in 50, but let's change it to 1. Now, up here in the particle view, let's select it and uh, a new window will open it. Open it right here. Okay. Now you can see in event one zero uh zero one there is uh six forces selected. But uh now I want you to press the the control button and uh and select the rotation, the speed and the position icon. Now let's press delete and uh, they will disappear. Uh, as you can see down here there's a lot of forces and uh, we're gonna get two of them the first one is the position object down here let's drag him up and the uh, second one is the force let's drag him right here let's go first to the position object and uh, in an emitter object let's choose by list and select teapot down here on a density by material box, let's select it. Uh, let's uh, be grayscale. Now select the box, use to material, and let's and let's put the material ID to two. Uh, if location is invalid, let's press the let's press the delete particles box. Okay, make sure it's selected. Okay, now let's go to the shape. And uh, let's be tetra because we want uh, our particles to be tetras. But 10 is very huge, very huge particles. So let's put that 4. It's gonna be really, really small. 
let's go back to the force by a list and uh, choose all let's choose the dragon wing now on this point ticks uh, here in type let's choose dots instead of ticks and then the cover let's put uh let's put the red live red live red as you can see let's put close and uh, let's go back to birth that's the first one here the green one uh, the imitation image start let's be at zero and uh, image stop let's put at 100 uh, the amount let's put uh, 15 or 30 means the the particles the amount with the part the number of particles uh, okay everything's completed so let's close this window and if we move the frame tab we can see white dots moving around if we press render yes we can see that there is uh, the red dots but uh, the teapots is uh, is always there we want the teapot to disappear so let's go let's select the teapot and uh, press M for the material okay uh, choose one of the default and uh, instead of standard let's choose multi sub object let's put keeps old ma uh, old material has sub material okay and uh, it's 10 let's put set number and choose 2 okay uh, now we only have two materials the first one let's select the color let's put a red like we put before on the particle view Let's put cl uh, close. And let's go to the second material. In in a diffuse color, let's press and let's choose gradient ramp. Down here, you must you must uh, see this. Okay, and now we need to animate this. So uh, first go to uh, zero, the first frame, zero frame. Uh, don't uh, don't select the auto key yet. Let's uh, first put it all white. This one white and this one white too. And I uh, build another two in each. Uh, okay, now let's drag him right here, as you can see. And now let's animate. Let's press the auto key in the frame zero. Select the first. Uh, we can call him help points. The first help point. Let's put black. The frame one. Let's put it white again. And go to the next, and put it black. Go to the frame two. Put this white. The next one black. Just do this. Now go to the frame fifty, and move it more or less to the middle. Like this. As you can see, if I move the bar see really cool now let's go to the frame 97 and move it to the end like this okay let's go to the frame 97 oh no uh, uh, 98 sorry Put this one. Put this one to white, and the next one to black. And then go to 99. Put this one to white, and the last one to black. Okay, it's finished. But let's make sure that the animation is correct, cause uh, I think it's not. Let's go back to 98. As I and uh, how you can see, the last one is black. We don't want it to be black, so let's put white. That's Okay, that's what it be. If you go to 97, this one should be black, but it's not, it's white. So let's go and press black, and the next one is put white. This is in the frame 97. If you move. Now, everything's r right. It must say like this. A black line moving during uh, the time. 